So I've been posting videos using scripture proving Jesus is Lucifer, which triggered a lot of people that doesn't even realize they are radicals. They are so radicalized, Jesus can be here in the flesh and they will walk up to him and say, no, you're not Jesus. In all reality, these people have no belief in anything. So from this point forward, if you leave any radicalized comments, I'm blocking you. And I don't give a fuck. I have accepted at this point in time, if you have no understanding of the truth, you can't be helped. Nor will I allow you to be on my platform misleading my people. So I'm about to take y'all back to 2012 when Earth originally was supposed to reset. But first, I'm going to give y'all a quick rundown of the backstory in an event you don't know. And at the end, I'm going to tell y'all how we all are part of their plan. So don't be one of those people saying, oh, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Yes, it does. So Venus is a spirit who we all know as in our timeline as Queen Elizabeth. And notice L is in her name to announce that she's a god, Queen L. She's also known as Lilith, Nana, Isis, and Ishtar. Cleopatra, Selene, and more. As I mentioned, they all are the same spirit, just different names. And the twin of Venus is Jupiter, who we all know as in our lifetime as King George. His first name is Charles, which includes L, to announce that he is a god. He is also known as Baal, Enlil, Osiris, Nimrod, and Zeus. So the twins, Jupiter and Venus, created Mercury, also known as Jesus, Lucifer, and Horus. And the symbols of the planets literally explains this. So the sun is positive energy, the moon is negative energy, while earth is pure energy that can't be transmuted into positive or negative energy. This is why the originals are so important, because we are the beginning of all existence. Notice Jupiter has a cross of earth and the moon because it's powered by negative energy. Its twin Venus has a cross of earth and the sun because it's powered by positive energy. So imagine the twins as toroidal fields, one is negative and one is positive. So the issue here is creations of the underworld should not be powered by positive energy, which is the sun, because it will still have negative tendencies. So Jupiter and Venus, the twins, made it and created Mercury. Mercury was not born as a twin, so it came out perfectly balanced, as in his toroidal field. This is why the moon is balanced on top of the sun and the cross of Earth. This is why I say Jesus is the only entity that possesses duality. Just like Venus is the only feminine entity that possesses power of the sun that allowed creation. One of her names is Ishtar. And we celebrate a holiday every year giving power to the name. And we call it Easter. Because she produced an egg that helped create the humans. As I always mentioned, the song Mary Had a Little Lamb. They are saying Mary Magdalene, who is Venus, gave birth to a lamb. Which is always referred to as Jesus. Who is Mercury because of the balance so back to this it shows venus next to earth preventing our original reset when we approached the real sun back in 2012 but as y'all can see it says 2014 because they broke the poles off earth stopping us from crossing the sun this caused our time to reverse so they changed their programming and most people know this as a mandela effect this is also the reason why the people that became adults back in 2012 has not aged as older generations so if you have a spirit, which is a star, it holds memories. This is why we remember differences and the other ones that don't only have a soul or they are part of a program and technically doesn't exist. NASA literally left this on the website to leave a clue to what happened. Because why would the last image be way back in 2014 when it's 2023 now? NASA even announces a solar storm that happened in 2012 in 2014 that was stronger than the Carrington event that almost hit Earth. This was their cue to reset time, just like they're doing now, because the solar maximum is 2025 when we be crossing the sun again. This is why I say I know for a fact 2025 is our last year in this reality. And they know this, so they went on their mission to try to find loopholes in universal law in order to own a human. As y'all can see, the new Supreme Court decision rules that cDNA is patentable. They say the Supreme Court ruled that naturally occurring genes are not patentable. But cDNA, a man-made copy of genetic messenger cells, is patentable. So long story short, they need DNA and mixed with RNA in order to create cDNA. What do y'all think that hot sauce 19 was? And one of the ingredients inside the hot sauce is called Lucifer Race. And don't be a bot saying it's spelled differently when you can clearly hear you are casting the same spell. So imagine if Jesus is Lucifer. This would mean it's his new race of people because they believe he is their God. They even got a test they call Satan that test the Lucifer race inside of your blood. If y'all didn't catch on by now, Satan is Jesus' grandfather. Saturn and Nephthys was created as twins, so imagine those two as a field. Nephthys, 
also known as death, was born with the soul, no spirit, while Saturn is the spirit of Set and, and Satan, and also known as Solomon in our timeline. Both have the power of invisibility. So who most people call Satan is the first man, first dragon mix, in other words, reptilian, which is technically a part of mankind. The dragon races and the man races was not supposed to mix because it allowed him to crossbreed, which he ended up creating Jupiter and Venus with the Earth. So when Satan landed on Earth, he was in a place called Ur and Ur means Uranus and means Saturn. In our timeline, we call it Iran. This is where Satan tricked Eve because Eve's spirit is Uranus. Also, this is the area where the Summerans were, which are the greys that end up helping them take over Egypt. So since Satan landed in the Middle East, he would appear as a Middle Eastern man because he's half dragon, half man. While Jesus would appear as a quote unquote black man because he is considered fully man. As I mentioned earlier, the radicals will walk up to Jesus and say he's not Jesus and it'll all be because he incarnated as a quote unquote black man. Most of the world will reject him just because of that. This is the reason media depict black people the way they do. Because if you hate God's image, how can you ever ascend into heaven? They didn't like Jesus because he had the power to tread on dragons and serpents. That's why they feared him and fear us. So I'll make this clear for everyone. There are two gods. The one, the actual creator, the god of heaven, and also the god of the underworld. Neptune is a freshwater dragon, most known as Amon or Yahweh. Mars is a golden fire dragon, but most people know him as Ra or Enoch. Uranus is a saltwater dragon. These three had nothing to do with the war, while Mercury, Jesus, played an equal side by creating a race, trying to ascend them out of the underworld, but at the same time, it could cause an angel to descend into the underworld, if you got lost in the brainwashing, meaning if you never woke up. Now Saturn, Nephthys, Jupiter, and Venus, they played a massive role in enslaving us. They are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So we have Dr. Craig Venter. He's affiliated with this company, Illumina, out of all names, and it was funded $3.333 billion in 2018, right before the pandemic, out of all numbers. If you know, you know. And they're looking to make gene sequencing cost only $100. Note on the bottom, it says they study neurological and mental disorders, along with infectious pathogens. And throughout the pandemic, they end up controlling over 80% of the gene sequencing market. The hot sauce 19 is gene therapy. It's not what they said it was. So check it. What we are experiencing is direct evolution towards their image. As I always say, they are trying to religion you from the real God. Meaning taking you from one legion and placing you into another. Just in case you don't know, a legion means army. The real God is with our spirits, but it's fighting for our souls that's trapped here. Hence the war in heaven. While our enemies is fighting to keep our souls, but it can harvest the energy from our spirits to uphold the matrix through the financial system that's on the brink of collapse. When this happened, they have to return the energy and that's what they're trying to prevent. So the spirit is a beneficiary and your soul is supposed to be a trustee. They created a B system creating contracts, giving them power to be the trustee, which in turn, they made themselves a beneficiary and made us slaves. So we'll never realize what they're really doing is really creating a new race of gods to serve them from the fallen angels, which is the quote unquote black men of America, which is really ancient Egypt. This is why society around the world is taught to hate us. And again, how can you ascend to heaven if you hate God? But at the same time, all countries want to come here and visit or live. Eventually having kids with these same men. This is what they meant by the fallen angels mating with human women. Because they created a separate race that looked like us. We live multiple timelines doing the same thing. But this will be the last one. So if you're still connected to your spirit, no right from wrong, you're good. Everyone else? Y'all do realize they stole a lot of people's DNA, right? What y'all think they gonna do with it? This was still in your DNA. Not to test if you were sick. And this should be self-explanatory. This is the artificial facility. A place where humans could be grown entirely from scratch. The devices you see here are called growth pods. Each growth pod is designed to replicate the same conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. Growth pods are designed to host human fetuses until they are fully developed. These artificial wombs are designed to help premature babies to continue developing after their birth. But emerging scientific research is making it possible to use them to create designer humans entirely from scratch.